Hi guys and welcome to our first math video. Um, today we're going to be doing 10.5 comparing fractions and I know we're skipping 10.4 but we're going to be doing that one tomorrow. I wanted to do this one first because it just makes more sense to me this way. So if you want to get out 10.5 I'm going to be going over this lesson uh, today. Comparing fractions can be kind of tricky because Normally, we're used to a bigger number means larger size. Smaller number means smaller size. But you know what? That's not always the case with fractions because fractions are all about dividing. And dividing means you're making things into smaller pieces. So let's review a little bit about fractions. If you remember, the top number of a fraction is the part. This is the Pac-Man. This is how many pieces you get out of the pizza. So I get two slices or I get three slices. So the top number re represents the part of the fraction. The bottom number, that re represents the total. So this is the total people invited to your party or how many slices you have to divide your pizza up into. So this is the total number of pieces. So let's compare some fractions. If I'm comparing the top number of fractions, the bottom number is staying the same and the top number is growing. What's happening here is in this fraction, I get to eat two pieces of the pizza, yes. Then I get to eat four, that's even more. And if I'm so lucky, at this fraction, I'm getting to eat six pieces of pizza. So obviously, as the top number grows, your Pac-Man gets to eat more and more and more. That's what we're used to. But let's look at what happens when the bottom number changes. When the bottom number of a fraction changes, it's talking about the total pieces we're dividing up into. So I have one pizza and I'm dividing it between two people. That's awesome, you each get half a pizza. But let's say six people are in my family and we have to divide that same pizza into six slices. Your slices are gonna be way smaller than eating half a pizza. Then we have the horrible situation where 12 people in your family show up and you only have one pizza and you've got to divide it into 12 total pieces. How big are your pieces going to be? Barely enough to make you full. So a 12 here actually represents a smaller piece. So let's take a look at our paper. Um, for the first section, you're going to be circling the larger fraction. You can see that clearly because they color it for you. You're just circling whichever one shows more. On the back, the same thing. You're going to be using your alligator or your Pac-Man to eat the larger number. This is easy. Even on 10 through 13, it's pretty simple because you get to color it in so you can easily see which one is bigger. Now the bottom section here, it can be really tricky. You know what, come closer because you're gonna need to see this. And I have an example for you. Here is kind of what your paper looks like, 14 through 19. I redrew it so it's not exact, but you'll get the, you'll get the, the gist of what I'm trying to do here. What they want you to do is they want you to compare one third with four sixths. And they're giving you these blank bars so that you can try to see which one is larger. For one third, I'm gonna find this section, in this section, I'm going to find which one is divided into three total parts. And that would be A. A has three total parts. And I actually, if I were you, would mark how many total parts are in each. So this one's got three, this one's got four, this one has five, this one's got six, and you can guess seven and eight, okay? This gives me a little hint so that I don't have to keep counting them over and over. So with one third, I'm gonna shade very lightly 
one of those three pieces. And then I'm gonna find the sixths and I'm gonna color four of them. So here's my sixth and I'm gonna color four. Here's one, two, three, and four. And you can see which one really is larger. Four sixths is much larger than a third. And so I'm going to eat up the bigger number. And that's what they want you to do. Erase these and you can reuse them again and again. For example, the next one only wants you to do two sixths. And if you don't erase this, it won't be easy to see that two sixths would only be one section and two sections. So, don't forget to take the quick quiz after this video. It should be posted right below. If you have questions or concerns, just comment below and I'll answer them as best as I can. Good luck.